Hey shoebox friends, it's Annabeth with Sending Shoeboxes and um, yes, I'm excited to share with you an unboxing video. This particular video is for a boy five to nine, but before I started my YouTube channel, I never had done a themed box ever. I didn't, I don't know, it didn't even cross my mind to do a theme box. I um, myself for a couple years now have literally just bought in bulk. Um, I just did bulk buying, which I still, I still do that even though I do more focused, um, fun theme boxes that I share with you guys. But I wanted to sort of go back to what I used to always do and just do a box. It doesn't have a theme. It's just for a boy five to nine. And... I just, um, I don't know, I just want to put it out there because I feel like, not that it always has to be, but at times doing a theme box for me, you know, I, I want to get all the items that match and go into this box. And um, sometimes it can be a little bit more expensive for me because I'm looking for a particular item. But I just wanted to let any of y'all know that who um, maybe have just started shoe boxing and and packing you don't have to do a theme box it doesn't have to be what it is you can literally just put together a box of fun things that don't match and don't necessarily have to go together and it's just as valuable and just as amazing and just as much of a blessing to that child now by no means that mean that theme boxes aren't fun because they're so fun but i think they're equally valuable and um, I think at the um, time that I was prior doing boxes these past, I mean, I've done shoe boxes since I was a kid because my parents did them with me. And then when my husband and I got married is when we started the tradition of every year trying to do more and more and more boxes. Um, so our first year of marriage, we went out and I think we just each did a box. And then the next year we each did two. And every year we've added on and added on and some years it's been quite the leap from maybe 15 boxes to like 30 something boxes or to 60 boxes um but i i just wanted to maybe share something it's not really different but um maybe it's different than what i've i've been doing um on the channel so i just thought it would be fun to do a box with no theme just a fun happy box for a, a a five to nine boy and this is literally how I would have put a box together um, that didn't have a theme prior like I said for me I just buy things in bulk and at the end of the year when it's time to do a packing party or put all my boxes together I get all my stuff out set it out in our living room and kitchen area I keep everything in totes I wish I had one in here to show you as an example I always do that I always get into the video and wish I had things to show you guys but um I have lots of plastic totes and I will eventually, as I am um, reorganizing my storage area, I will show you guys how I store things. Um, just to give you another perspective, there have been other YouTubers that have shown their storage, which has given me great ideas to implement in my way of storing things. And eventually I'd like to give you my perspective on what I do and what works for me. And you know, watching all those videos might help you mine and other people's might help you find um, fun, better new ways to um, implement into your packing and storing and, and whatnot. So this is a no theme shoe box, just a fun one for a, a boy. And I feel like that makes it sound like it's not as good, but this is just as good as a theme. So I um, will show you what the box looks like, which I don't normally do and I don't know why, but I want to show you today. This is what he will see when he opens it up. Now, a lot of times I put the main item on the top. It just didn't work out with the way I packed this particular box. Um, but there's still a lot of fun things to see when you open it. So let's go ahead and go through it. We have our coloring book and um, spiral notebook. So we have those. I also have really fun Jurassic Park um, puzzle. 
And this is how I do my puzzles. I probably mentioned it before. I get my puzzles at the Dollar Tree because I still think even at a at a dollar twenty five, you can get a five hundred piece puzzle for a dollar twenty five. That's pretty good. Um, and they come in lots of different themes, lots of different varieties. And I love puzzles. We like to do puzzles. Um, my sister and I used to puzzle all the time, and we had a blast. We did a puzzle that was completely white. The hardest puzzle I've ever done in my whole life. It took us weeks and weeks, but we had a blast. We just sat and watched movies for weeks. And um, yeah, so it was a tough one, but we did manage to finish it. And then we glued that puzzle together <laughs> so it would never go apart because it was definitely an accomplishment to finish it. But yes, a um, Jurassic Park puzzle, 100 piece. And like I said, I take the puzzles out of the boxes from Dollar Tree um, because they do come, this is how it comes in the box. They already come in their own like packaging and I cut out the picture and then the number of, um, sometimes not always the number if it's, you know, in a weird spot, but always the picture. I cut it out and I just slide it in the front and put it in a Ziploc because, for me, it just fits better in my shoe boxes. It's much more compact, and the box just takes up so much more space. So, I'm gonna get all the air out. But yes, so in comparison to the box that it comes in, um, I'm able to fit a lot more this way. And look, there you go, puzzle. So he's got his coloring book, his puzzle. I did have this, um, these are crowns, um, uh, just from Dollar Tree, it came in a three pack, and this is one of those, it comes with eight, and so there's, there's those for him to color with, I had these fun, they're almost like the stress, the stress ball material, minions, a little keychain, I thought he was really, Really funny eating a banana. I don't know, but he's still really cute. Uh, Minions keychain. I threw in here some chalk. Um, I've really enjoyed doing my chalk this way. I've done this for a few years now, and I've seen um, a couple people, which they might have been doing this for a long time too, show it in baggies as well. I get these bags from Walmart, and they're just called, I think they're called rectangular snack bags. I know they have square ones. They have these tall ones, these particular tall ones. I like these tall ones because it fits three pieces of chalk perfectly. So I get these and I put my chalk in there. So he's got three pieces of chalk. Just a fun green little notebook for extra writing. A flashlight. This is one of the crank flashlights from Dollar Tree. And then... Um, my husband and Ashton put together this hygiene bag. So I don't actually know what's in here. <laughs> I um, did give them a list of things they need to make sure we're in here. So I know that that's probably got all the stuff, but let's see what they did. They did soap. I don't always send the Irish Spring because to me it's strong, but I have some left over from last year. So we're going to use it up. So we've got this that they picked. Uh, the reusable utensil that I like to get off of Amazon. We have band-aids, a comb, nail file, and a nail clipper. Little thing of floss. Two. Oh my goodness. Two toothbrushes with these awesome caps that I like to get at Walmart and I've talked about these in videos before, but two of these. And then Ashton must have added this a bouncy ball. So that's what's in the hygiene bag. Also next to that, I have uh, two washcloths, a green and a white. Just a fun um, Frisbee pops out. These things fly, my goodness. 
I was outside with Ashton the other day and he wanted one so he got one and he was throwing it and I was throwing it and these things will go. They'll go over a fence real quick. <laughs> so so yes, they, they will go flying. But they're great, compact, and super easy to put in your shoe boxes. I get these on Amazon in bulk and I think they're great. I love these. I think I found these like a year or two ago and I've been putting them in shoe boxes ever since. So this is a fun uh, pair of socks. They do say Tuesday on them, but you know, they also have uh, basketballs, baseballs, and footballs on them. So fun sports themed pair of socks as well as just a nice pair of green. Nice pair of green socks. I like this color green. So a nice pair of green socks. In here we have the school supply bag and this is pretty full. I think, yeah, I think um, my husband helped fill this one too. So some stickers. I do know some of the things in this box because I started this, but I think he went out and finished it. Um, there is uh, two things of stickers, just some fun animals, it's cute animals, some monkeys, um, a uh, 12 pack of colored pencils. I, this is just how I send my colored pencils. I always just take the whole pack of colored pencils and put a rubber band around it and it just fits much better and I can fit it in here. And that's what I like to do. Um, two highlighters a big one and a skinnier one in some fun colors we also have just standard our pens blue and black pen lots of pencils and a few fun ones oh my goodness i feel like i'm holding things so awkward today okay so just regular pencils we've got quite a few five here and then Stripe, polka dot, and dinosaur fun pencils. Whoa! Dropped a pencil. <laughs> uh, this is a cool stencil. I get these in the party section at Walmart. They had different kinds. Um, I think it's only like a dollar or a dollar ninety nine, and you get quite a few stencils. It comes in like a whole pack. I think it's just it's in the party section, so I think it's just meant to put in like uh, party favor bags. But I like to put them in my shoe boxes. Sometimes it surprises me the things that are over in the party favor section. It's there year round. I don't know if you guys ever look there, but sometimes I can find cute things. You know, they have slap bracelets sometimes that are a good deal or other things like this. So this one is under the sea. It's got this cute uh, turtle, whale, and a couple other sea creatures. So fun stencil. Put two two um, pencil sharpeners, a pair of scissors, glue stick. This is a cool eraser that I um, got from Valentine's Day and it actually comes apart. It's like it's supposed to be a puzzle eraser. You put it together and there you go. It's a cute dump truck but it's an eraser. It's super cute. So got those. Also just some fun little erasers. This is a puppy dog, a penguin, and a planet. Just sometimes I just like to throw a couple of those in there. And then your standard school erasers. Some pink cap erasers. Some of the nicer ones and then a standard pink eraser. So that's his school supply bag. Next I also put in a 10 pack of markers. I was in Tennessee visiting my family, visiting my birth mother, and they had these on sale for like 75 cents or something crazy. And there was a ton of them. I don't know. I've never really one to buy markers, but I did. And when we went up to the register, they came up at like two something. And I was so disappointed. But the lady honored it because literally over this huge, huge <laughs> kiosk of just markers, the big sign in, on top of it said 75 cents. I think it was like 70 something cents. Maybe it was even something crazier like 50 cents. This was a little while ago. Um, 
So they did honor it and give them to me for that price. So I was very excited about these. So I gave him this too, because not that it's not sufficient, but I gave him the smaller pack of um, the crowns. So markers too, and colored pencils. He's set, this boy is set. Um, maybe he really will like art and he'll be super excited for all those fun things. This is just some fun Star Wars Mandalorian stickers. I put in there. Now this is his wow toy. Typically I would try to put things on the top. It just fit better on the bottom. I got this sweet boy a ball. And this is a like one of those really nice so I bought I bought um, one of these for my boys first to see if it was good quality and it is it's very good quality and they still are playing with it I use them as testers <laughs> for a lot of things I'm unsure about but I also um, got the pump and two uh, needles for the ball but yes, this is just like one of those kickballs like you would have in school, except it's just very colorful. So I got one of these and was able to fit in there. So he's got this ball um, and lots of other fun things. But yeah, so that ball I'm really excited about. Got that on Amazon. Uh, these sort of like puzzle building block type things. I get these at Target for a dollar in the dollar section. That's just regular price. But I've seen other people on other channels um, get them and I've started getting them myself and I think It's a fun easy thing to fit in um, a shoebox So he's got this fun puzzle game where you can just build whatever you want uh, An Ashton add in to the box <laughs> my son added a jumping frog he has two pairs of underwear and I just left them the way that they came in the package because they're all wrapped up, which they typically are, but they fit really well in the box the way I was packing it. So I just left it. So he's got two pairs of underwear. Um, oh, I like to add these um, whenever there's space and there was space. Um, even in the girl boxes, I like adding these. They are just little mini dinosaurs that I get in bulk on Amazon for a really good price. I enjoy finding little treasures like this to put in and a fun thing to play around with. So I just put a couple on some of the empty spaces. And then I think you guys might have seen these shirts that I've shown. I got, I put him in this blue one because I really liked this blue one and put this in his box. So a nice, blue shirt got those for 250 on clearance at walmart and then the last thing but not the um not that it's not important but uh fit at the very very bottom another because you guys know me i love to send extra paper and plus he has a lot of crowns and color pencils and ways to draw so just another notebook aligned thing it says let your light shine so there's that but yeah so this is the that's that's my boy five to nine box just a little bit of everything like I said no theme and I might do a couple more of these I well I know I will because I'm working on one that's coming that I'm pretty much done with I just have to um, do some final little things checks to make sure I have everything I need for it but I'm going to do a, a, a girl box this way and just show you guys another take on a box with no theme just lots of love put into it so yes I can't wait to show you guys that so hopefully that will be coming in the next few weeks so I hope you guys enjoyed this I hope this gave, this gave you guys ideas on you know another way to do a shoebox and it's probably not like the most surprising way to do a shoebox but I don't know I um I get very wrapped up in the themes and I love that and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that so definitely don't take that from what I, what I'm saying is that there's an issue with that there's not at all I love it and I think it can actually be super fun to do theme boxes and it's exciting and and whatnot but also sometimes 
you know, if you don't have the money to be looking out for that particular item, because I don't know, maybe this is just me sometimes when I'm looking for a theme and I find something I really want, but it's not on sale and I wouldn't normally spend the money, I buy it because I need it for the theme box. So, um, yeah, just sort of going back to this and just finding really good deals, getting things on sale, buying things in bulk, which, like I said, regardless of what I'm doing, I'm always buying in bulk for my shoe boxes. Um, yeah, it's just another way to do it. So, yeah, I hope you guys have a great night and thanks for watching. You guys be blessed and I will, I'll be seeing you guys soon. Okay. All right. Bye everybody. I hope you all have fun in your own packing endeavors. Just wanted to show you what all was in this box laid out. It was so fun putting this together and had some great help from my son and my husband. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing well in all your packing. Thank you so much for watching and sharing in this with me. I know that I say that a lot, but I truly mean it from the bottom of my heart. I have a blast doing this and being involved with this and I've met some wonderful people. So yes, you guys all have a great week, like I said, and I will definitely be seeing you guys very, very soon. Thanks you all. Bye. Talk to y'all later.